Okay, we're good. Hello. Um, so <laughs> this is our Wisdom Wednesday rescheduled um, because we had testing at College View last time. There's no testing hey, happening today. <laughs> no testing. <laughs> um, and this is Daniel, and we're at College View Elementary, and we're going to go on a mini tour for Wisdom Wednesday on a Monday. On a Monday. Motivation Monday. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll chat. Sounds good. And we also have Nancy's here. And, and Taylor is here. Um, Taylor's coming back next year, too. Uh, so they'll be around. But. Yeah. Okay, so this is our team room. It's really small, um, <laughs> but it's intimate. We get to see a lot of each other. Um, here at College View, we have 10 core members, and our I am, uh, Claire, who's phenomenal. Um, Here's our room. Uh, this is a huge dosage board. I don't know if you all have talked about dosage before. A little but bit. This is the most elaborate one, so this yes. is cool. Yes. So our dosage um, coordinator, Josh, made this great little board with stickers. This helps us keep track of how many minutes we are spending with our focus list um, students. Um, typically a core member will have 10 students, yeah, right? Um, they're almost done. Yeah, they're actually, Jenny, um, this is, is Jenny. this Jenny's? Okay. This is Jenny's. Um, she gets a lot of, um, pull-out time with her students, so she has time to get dosage with other students. Um, so yeah. This is our fun and colorful uh, dosage page. That's Jeremy. Say hi to hey, Jeremy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> um, these are our goals for the year. A lot of these we have reached. Um, we just haven't checked them off yet. Um, oh, these are just reminders. <laughs> we have definitely reached our uh, in-kinding. Uh, well, not that. That goal is from the beginning of the year, but we reached our in-kinding <laughs> goal. Dosage is almost there. Uh, literacy is just about there. Um, Where is yeah. your literacy one? Uh, oh, there we go. 1.5 growth. Um, we're having an end of the year test later um, to see how how far our focus list students have grown. What are you using at College View for that? Because I actually get questions on this. Oh, sometimes. like the test. So we track our um, literacy growth. Uh, with this test called iStation, and um, <clears throat> College View uses that test as well um, to keep track of growth, and we just, you know, so you're aligning with what the school already has in place. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Here's our little um, kudos board. We each have little pockets, um, and we leave each other nice little notes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> And here's our messy supplies. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yep. Here's a PITW. <laughs> we have our um, favorite P PITWs um, throughout the uh, room. This one is 93, celebrate all holidays, which we try to do here. Um, that's Tim's favorite one. Um, PITW number 49, don't forget to have fun. Very, very crucial. Um, <laughs> sometimes this job is hard. Um, be strong. Be strong. <laughs> uh, and here are the rest of our... Sorry, I was checking oh, out sorry, the fidget spinner. That's okay. <laughs> that one's new. I haven't seen that in any two rooms. So we also have like unique. little props to be funny, you know, around. So this blonde wig. You know, when we're feeling beachy. I don't know. <laughs> um, here's our GSD board. This helps us keep track of what needs to get done um, throughout the week. Yeah, so you each have your own. Yeah. And we have, like, personalized one ones. Um, that's a picture of Miss Dow. Miss Han. Miss Han. Uh, Miss Han. I guess Miss Han, who, like, <laughs> <laughs> reigns over us all. Um, this is, is she a principal or no? She's just an awesome <laughs> teacher. <laughs> she's so funny. Um, this is Taylor, Mr. Y'all. That's Jeremy. He's from hey. Oklahoma. Oh, 
and he says y'all and his students call him Mr. Y'all. Uh, this is Chloe's. Um, she works with the fifth grade class. Uh, Nancy here, Nancy Pants, the one and only. This is me, Mr. Smiles. Um, <laughs> this is Maggie. Hers is like, Oh, Very, like, it's like, like a postcard. Yeah, it's a yeah. Oh yes, uh, oh, it's no. funny story. Maggie lost her driver's license coming Is to Denver. It <laughs> it's a little bit funny. It's funny now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, she lost her whole wallet. Yeah. Oh my goodness. At Safeway. <laughs> Anyways, this is her. This was her ID. Um, in the meantime, this is Tegan's. Uh, this is Joshua's, um, he has a cat, because he has a, a cat named Pumpkin, who he adores, and he has a pin, his cla class also adores Pumpkin. Oh, okay. um, like a deity in this school. Pumpkin is a deity in, in, our, in our hearts as well. Um, this is Jen, um, and this is Tim. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, and then here's some more PITs. Um, this is mine, my oh, favorite. PITW, which yeah. one? Oh, the creativity. Number, number 31. Bing. Um, Bing! <laughs> we yeah. haven't introduced that to people yet. Oh, no. <laughs> when we say PITWs, it. you go Bing! For a light bulb. For a light bulb, yes. Um, aha moments. That's what we're yes. all about. Um, and then here's our, uh, Poster for Team Norms, which you'll do during BTA oh, yeah, when you get here. This one's pretty. Well, thank you. I made it myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. That's our, our room in a nutshell. Cool. And I forget to do this every single <clears throat> time. Oh, you need your new chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll do it here. Uh, okay. um, Should I be beside you? Or? You can go right here. Cool. That's fine. Um, what I was going to say is I forget every time, can you tell us like which classroom you're in, what grade you support? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a brief overview before we start. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So I work in a third grade classroom with um, Tegan. Um, so our, my setup is a little bit unusual because, uh, so we have two core members in our room uh, as opposed to one, which is mm -hmm. traditional. I leave in the afternoon to go work with um, first and second grade, actually, which is a new thing that College View is trying out. I love it. I love the little kiddos. <laughs> um, they're so fun um, and just like full of energy. Love it. Also, we have this really nice apples to apples card, which we're all trying to do right now. Look for jobs. <laughs> oh, is this part of your Lacey? Yes. <laughs> Got it. So we talked about this in one of the videos, yeah. but if people haven't seen it, Lacey is life after city year or mm -hmm. leadership after city year. Um, so we know it's only a year commitment. We're going to try our best to support you in networking and different things. But um, now that we're closing up the year, everybody's starting to focus on Lacey. Yeah. So. Otherwise known as Woo. looking for a job. <laughs> cool. Um, awesome. So you're in third grade. Third grade. You like the tinies. I like. Uh, yeah. I love middle schoolers. Yes. They make it scare me. I got um, to work with middle schoolers this past weekend. Oh yeah, at Peace Champ. Do you want to tell them a little bit about Peace Champ? Yeah. Camp since we all talk about it once we get here, but. Yeah, absolutely. Different organization, but it's different organization. But the great thing about City Year Denver is that we promote um, a lot of organizations and, and a lot of opportunities to get involved outside of City Year. Um, and so Jeremy actually went um, this weekend. Jeremy and I went to an event called um, Peace Jam Youth Conference, and Peace Jam is a really interesting organization. Um, they connect youth with um, Nobel Peace Laureates, and this year's Nobel Peace Laureate was Oscar Arias, two-time Costa Rican president, um, who um, won the Peace Prize for uh, initiating peace in Central America mm -hmm. during a time of really turbulent politics. Um, Super cool. I worked with a middle school group. There were about nine of us, or nine of them, and um, 
It was awesome. I got to you like lead a group, facilitate group conversation. Mm -hmm. right? um, um, are you still called mentors? Uh, yeah. Call, call. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's saying yes. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They called you. I don't know. By, by technicality, that's our title, but more like friends that just guide them through the day. Yeah. So, like big siblings. It was super fun. Um, first time working with middle schoolers. Some of you might work with middle schoolers. Um, they're a great bunch. Uh, love it. I think middle schoolers are hilarious. <laughs> they are. They're so um, fun. But anyway, so that's one of our other like kind of partners that we support. Um, so we'll look them up. I yeah. did it. I got to meet Lama Bowie when I did it. Whoa. So. Um, um, because did you get to meet Oscar or no? I, Jeremy so had lunch with Oscar, okay. actually. Yeah, that's, I got to have lunch with our laureate. He's an incredible guy. Yeah. I, Such an inspiration. Yeah. I could have just sat and talked to him for like 17 hours and been content. So. <laughs> 17. <laughs> that's a cutoff. 17. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we give him a break after that. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So let's move back to city year. Mm -hmm. um, so what's your transition been like? You moved from Virginia, right? I moved you from moved Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Um, I drove out here with my dad in a, like oh, okay. a hot summer weekend in July. I actually, um, funny story, I when I was applying to, to city year, my top choices for a while when I was applying were New York, Chicago, and something else. I don't know. I never considered Denver. And then I had this moment when I was like really applying. I was like, oh, man, like I should just like get outside of my comfort zone and like pick a city that sounds cool and that I don't know much about. And so I looked into Denver and I just had a good feeling about it. And so I chose Denver like last minute, turned in my application, um, got in like s sort of towards the end of the summer. I, I think I did the last deadline. Um, and I've loved it so far. Um, the altitude's high. Um, <laughs> it is a little high. Dude, that's was, what everybody talks about. That's how dry it is. It's, yeah, my, my, I was like, applying lotion everywhere, drinking tons of water, stay hydrated here. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there's all these water bottles. So. Yes, important, stay hydrated. <laughs> um, but it's been great. I decided to um, have random roommates, so I didn't find my roommates through um, the City Year page. I actually used a page called Denver Creative Housing. Okay. Um, and I found two roommates. They're really cool. They're both CU Boulder graduates, and we live in historic Five Points in North Denver. Um, but and it's did you find your housing on the Facebook page too, or did you find housing with them a different way? Um, so they had they so most people on that page um, post their Craigslist links. Mm -hmm. I think the page emphasizes or like lifestyles of how people live so um when i found my roommate um we had a lot of common interests like they both worked in nonprofits. um they you know love the outdoors i love the outdoors um yogis yogis for life namaste um, and, uh, yeah, we just had a, a bunch of common interests, and we had, like, a little Skype date, and then it just kind of fell into place from there. Um, but there are a lot. that's what people have been asking, and the, um, I did get a question, what's the page called? It's Denver Creative Housing, and they're all linked on the housing page. That one should be there. If it's not, I'll add it, but there's, like, five or six different Facebook groups to join to find housing mm -hmm. under um, advice from core members on the housing page of the website. And you might know more about this. When is like when when is like housing leasing season? Do you know like 
It moves quickly, so yeah. there's not really a season. Like when I moved to Boston, like September 1st, everybody moved. Yeah. That was just like what happened. <laughs> um, but because we have so many people coming here for so many different jobs, there's not like a season. Mm -hmm. I've been telling people they should be looking in May and June so that they can sign pretty immediately in June or July. Mm -hmm. um, which can be stressful if, if you want to get it done in advance, but things move so quickly that it can be difficult. Yeah. Um, so as long as you're researching and looking at stuff, um, that way you're ready to just bite the bullet when yeah. you find something later. Absolutely. And I try to just reach out to as many people as I can. Um, and, you know, the more responses you have, the, the safer you are. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's good to know you didn't have roommates with just one city here. Yeah. So. Um, a bit nerve-wracking, but worked out really well. Oh, yeah. That's, that's how I found my roommate worked for me, too. Um, cool. But then for College View, so we're at College oh, View college for anybody view. that joined later. So what makes College View special and unique? <clears throat> so College or View... Or team, too. Oh, and our team. School. Whatever you, <sighs> whatever you want to highlight. Our team's awful. No. <laughs> I love our team. We're a very diverse, special group of people. Um, and we spend a lot of time together. And it's fun. <laughs> Maybe not for Taylor. We like to pick on Taylor. But... That's why she's going to DC next year. Yeah, yeah she's moving exactly. all the way across the country because she can't stand us. Um, no, we love Taylor. Uh, College View is a really interesting school because um, its demographics are not like the other schools um, in Denver. So there's a lot of gentrification happening because people are moving here. It's a hot city for tech. Um, the outdoors, uh, Google is moving its headquarters really close, um, so we're seeing a lot of changes in neighborhoods. I, like I said, I lived in, um, I live in historic Five Points, which was a historically black and jazz mm -hmm. neighborhood, um, and they're dealing with a lot of change. Um, people are getting pushed out, um, and. There is a lot of debate in my neighborhood um, and just like dialogue events that are happening um, to tackle this issue. Um, however, the southwest of Denver where College View is located has stayed, you know, fairly... Asmar Park. Uh, untouchable? Asmar Park. Asmar Park. Asmar Park. That's where we are. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's my that's okay. <laughs> um, yes, um, so a lot of our students uh, live around the neighborhood and they walk. There's no school buses, um, so a lot of the students are a part of this community. Um, I don't know if you've touched on like how DPS works with school. Like, um, you can talk about it now. Yeah, um, so DPS is really interesting um, because students can choose um, to go to any school they want to in the district. Um, so Education reform and school choice here is a huge piece of our envir or environment, education yeah. policy um, kind of environment. Um, so DPS is frequently lauded for that, but it's mm -hmm. not always necessarily, um, there's lots of debate on yes. whether or not these things are positive and re good reform. But yeah. We don't need to get into that too much, but... <laughs> but it's different. Um, d certainly different from my education. Um, you know, I went to the school down the street, and, like, I had to go to that school. Um, and did you know, like, what middle school and high school you were going to go to? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it was for me, even right outside Denver. It's like, oh, really? My school colors in elementary and middle school were the same, so I knew exactly where I was going to go to school. But DPS is different. So. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's um, yeah, this is really cool. Um, but a lot of the students in this neighborhood choose to come here, and it's it's a really good school. 
a special place in my heart. And we talked about the demographics a little, I think, before this, and you just mentioned them. Oh, but yes. can you explain a little more about what the demographics are here since it's different from some of our schools? Yeah, so uh, College View is 80% um, Latinx, and, um, and then we have a large Vietnamese population as well. Um, and so that changes the culture of our school. Um, we have uh, s totally Spanish-speaking classes, um, which is a great resource for a lot of our kids. Um, Nancy actually teaches in a third grade <laughs> Spanish taught class. Mm -hmm. um, and they're great, they're great kids. Uh, uh, can't, uh, can't. It's okay. I, uh, I get emotional when I talk about sitting here. So. Right. <laughs> You're with me, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, great. Um, but yeah, so that's a really unique thing about um, College View. There are also a lot of other AmeriCorps um, resources here. Uh, we have Reading Partners, which is um, an organization that pulls, that, that recruits volunteers to read with um, students who want to read. You need to increase their literacy. Yeah. <laughs> And there's also a Center for um, Family Opportunity here, which helps uh, parents um, also understand and, and get accustomed to the culture here. Um, and they provide a, a lot of services, actually. Um, English classes, um, they have like a laundry, like basket that like parents can send their laundry to and they get that for free. Um, That's awesome. There's organizations out there that actually do that, put laundry machines in schools because it's been shown to really increase attendance. And wow. since that's an initiative we work on, um, mm -hmm. it's just something I've heard a lot about. Obviously we're not going to put like, <laughs> washing machines in our schools, but that can really affect attendance. So it's yeah. huge. Um, yeah, so they just have like a bunch of um, resources for parents um, and it's really cool because I feel like like throughout the day even like CFO will be holding classes with with parents and their students will be in school you know so it's like you feel the sense of community here um, and it's something we really emphasize and and cherish here at College View. Did you want to make one more pitch for the other unique thing you guys are doing here? Oh, yeah. So, um, my teammate Jenny, um, uh, I'll back up a little bit. So, I love taking photos, and um, I consider myself like a really creative person. I love like Photoshop, um, Adobe Illustrator, InDesign. Um, you get to run your school Instagram. I get to run the Everybody Instagram. Everybody should go follow it. Yes, it's awesome. Um, TY Denver underscore College View. Um, yeah, so I just had a bunch of photos from at the after school program that we run, um, which is called BLAST. It stands for Building Leaders and Scholars Together. And um, Jenny, my teammate, found out that College View had never had a yearbook before. And so our project is making that yearbook, um, and it's almost done. Deadline's coming up soon. Um, but we raised money with the school. Um, the school had a GoFundMe that we promoted and tried to get you know, support for, and we finally reached our goal. Like. Two weeks ago, in fact, we got like three hundred dollars more, and we're really excited. Um, so we're gonna use that extra money to get better paper and like a nicer cover. Um, yeah, um, but it's been an awesome pro process. Um, uh, taking photos, you know. Being on the news. Being on the news. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Um, <laughs> Formatting it all, um, it's something I like was pretty novice at in college. Um, I took a graphic design class, absolutely loved it, um, but, and I actually, I thought about switching my major, um, 
at that time, but it was like, I was a senior and I just needed to go out, you know? Um, so I majored in psychology uh, and I loved it. Um, but yeah, graphic design, something that I'm really passionate about. Um, and, and I got to use it in your service. And I got to use it in my service. And that's a great thing about City Year. There are skills that you love or might have that you didn't focus on in college that you, or wherever you were. And you can use those skills in City Year. Um, and City Year supports you through all of that and provides you with resources. Well, cool. That's a good segue, which is yeah. what other things might you be working on this year that have been challenging or growth areas for you that you're working on? Um, so I came from the restaurant industry. My Both my parents work in um, a Thai, our Thai restaurant. Um, and so I'm used to like really late hours. And I grew up like, you know, going home at like midnight and um, trying to, you know, get sleep as immediately and go to school. Um, but when I went to college, I totally became a night person. Like I didn't have a class before like noon and I was okay with like having class at like 7 p.m. Um, and that is not elementary school life <laughs> at all. Um, so I think I had a challenge like shifting into that time frame. Um, but it really taught me a lot of discipline um, and I'm more accustomed to my schedule now and it's amazing how much more daylight you get. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's kind of been my... Well, discipline's a good way to put it, because spirit, discipline, purpose, and pride are what we do at City Year. Yes. So, um, so yeah, time management was um, something I had to learn. A different type of time management, I guess. Um, and. Yeah, City Year just supports you through all of that. They understand that we all have different backgrounds, have different ways of working, um, and yeah, it's been great. My manager's the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mentioned another challenge earlier that I wanted to talk about too, yeah. just because I like really felt that one personally and connected to it. Do you yeah. want to tell them what your other challenge was and how you might have worked through it? Uh, you were talking about saying no. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. So I have a huge problem with saying, saying, um, that's Tegan, Hi. our, <laughs> my partner in crime. I'm sorry, I'm okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I have a huge problem saying no, and I like like to bite off more than I can chew. Um, so that's something I had to learn here, um, taking the time to like really care for yourself and learning when too much is too much, you know. Yeah. Um, it, feed, it feeds into that time management and discipline, and but I just thought that one was important. To yeah, me, totally. I empathize with that from my own core here. It's important <laughs> to learn your own boundaries. There's so much so. to do, and it's all so exciting and has like great impact. So find a way to take care of yourself when you get here. I am, I go to, I found yoga here, um, which if you're into yoga, Denver has a great yoga scene. Um, so I, I go almost like every day, find an outlet where you can, relieve stress um, because you'll need that here um, and your kids will need that you know that if you're stressed out your kids are probably going to be stressed out too so just keep that in mind um, and it's something I've been more cognizant about this year yeah, thanks <laughs> um, so to wrap up kind of what has been your favorite memory this year either in school in class or with your team outside of school anything um, hmm, that's hard. I just like love our, our like my team moments. Uh, we spend a lot of time together, um, and it's just so awesome. Like getting to know people from all across the country, like from 
We have a lot of East Coasters on our team. Lots of, like Nancy's from California. We got an Oklahoma up in here. We have debates about the South and if Virginia is part of South, which <laughs> it is. It is. It definitely is. It definitely okay. is. <laughs> um, and it's just fun. I, I love our team. I love a lot, the core. It's, it's, I love training days. Um, oh, that's we have like, mixed I, feelings. I love L and D days, yes. but not everybody does. They, but I love them. They're so fun, you know. And you get to share experiences from like your school and um, like a lot of us work in middle schools. A lot of us work in elementary schools. And it's like one North High School. Um, but the experiences are totally different and the same in many ways, and uh, it's just cool meeting like, a lot of yeah. different people. All right, last thing. Okay. Is there anything else important that you think people should know or that you want to share that we didn't touch on? Do you have one, Nancy? Don't put Nancy on <laughs> no, I was like, I'm going to stall for a little bit. Uh, anything special about City Year? should know it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy don't come with expectations yeah that's true that's PITW number 112 is what we end on in the virtual orientation city year is not what you think it is city year is not what you think it is and but <laughs> it's awesome and just try to go with the flow as much as you can I think that's what's helped me be successful it's like getting outside of your comfort zone. Um, a lot of you after City Year will continue to, and go on to do amazing things and learning to roll with the punches, being flexible will make you that much better of a leader. Um, and it's super important in any school environment. Yeah, absolutely. So just go with the flow. I thought of one more question for you. Yeah. Um, what do you think is like the number one like characteristic that you need to be a successful core member? Like characteristic or just like skill or personality? To be a good core member. Um, Cause I haven't answered, but I'll share it after you go. <laughs> I think it, I think it looks different for everyone. Um, when you get here, you'll, you'll find that you'll have different roles on your team mm -hmm. and different character traits will be more efficient successful in those roles for me yeah, as a community outreach person and rad rad recruitment yeah. development rad, person yeah. um, my a school skill that's really successful for me is is relationship building and that's interpersonal true. skills um, and so you know to communicate with masses about things that we're doing here um, and then on a more intimate level connect with business partners um, that want to help students here at, at, at College View and so and relationship building with your kiddos yes relationship building with your kiddos and your teammates and everyone so yeah okay. that's, that's actually a really good one so now I feel silly but mine is adaptability and since you mentioned that that was why I was just curious what you thought I don't think there's a wrong answer but I think just being adaptable and mm -hmm. and even more than flexible like flexibility is important but being able to be flexible and then still build on that and um, also important. And make things better and ties well with, with, with relationship building because people so. are different yep. yeah so cool thanks <sighs> bye guys bye. If, Daniel's in the group, so I'll tag him. If you have questions, you can ask him. So, bye. Bye.